Oh, yeah. Anyway, so let's just get started, right? All right, so welcome to Real Talk. I am Marla. And I'm Sarah. Um, and today is the first of what will hopefully be a bunch of helpful talks of things that we're interested in or passionate about. Today we are talking about all things CBD and what um, we think you should need to know about it. And also Marla's favorite holiday in the whole world, Black Friday. Countdown is on. So why are we talking about CBD? Um, those of you who know me know that I have terrible back problems. Um, I have for a really long time. I have done everything, shots, epidurals, physical therapy, all you can think of. I've been taking pain medication every day for as long as I can remember, prescription and over the counter. That's not good for your liver. Exactly. So um, a few years ago, started following Marlon, doing things a little more healthy and on the cleaner, less toxic side. Um, so I was looking for, um, you know, things with a lot less chemicals and things like that. So, um, started looking into pain reliever that was a little more natural also. Um, I heard about CBD and, um, sort of back when it first started coming out, it was really hard to mm -hmm. find or really hard to yeah. get. Um, you had to really know somebody who was a distributor in order to get it. Right. Um, so about a year ago, we had an essential oils workshop um, with Marla's friend Joy, who's a massage therapist. Shout out to Joy Massage. Incredible. <laughs> if you need one. And, Holiday um, stresses. <laughs> she was telling us a little bit about of all the paperwork she had to fill out and everything that she had to do in mm -hmm. order yeah. to use CBD on her clients. Um, so now it's a lot more mainstream. Yeah. You can find it everywhere. Um, bars, coffee shops are putting right. it in their drinks. Um, I bought my mom CBD infused popcorn this That's, summer. Like the flavor was CBD? No, it was salted caramel popcorn with CBD. Oh, pony. That is so nice for her to do for you. See? I know, right? I know. That was really nice. Well, you know, I think it's like a catch 22, right? Like it's great that there's now more access, but it's also like now you need to be a much more educated consumer. Because you can really mm -hmm. end up buying some junk products, mm -hmm. right? Um, so I'm telling you, I'm calling it right now. I don't know if it's on Oprah's favorite things, or it should be, but it's going to be a... <laughs> it's certainly on Sarah's. It is, um, is going to be a big holiday um, gift. If you've been to the mall, mm -hmm. you've probably seen the kiosks already. There's stores. It's sort of everywhere. So we wanted to talk yeah. about it. I wanted to even learn more about it, and we thought it would be a good topic to sort of um, bring up to you. So first off, yeah. first and foremost, what is CBD? Yeah. So CBD stands for cannabidiol. That really probably tells you nothing, right? But it basically is a compound that's found in the hemp plant. And, um, you know, what we're going off of right now are some of like the most frequently asked questions, things that people had asked us previously, um, had sent in. So if you have any other questions, please feel free to maybe type them if we can read them. And if not, we can get back to you on the answers. Yeah. Or if we drag any memory, uh, a memory of a question, you feel free to direct message us. But yeah, so it's good for cannabidiol and people are probably happy it's just abbreviated to CBD because that's much easier to say, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think probably like the most frequently asked question is the pink elephant in the room, does it make you high? So fortunately or unfortunately, depending on sort of where you fall on the topic, um, it does not make you high. There isn't THC. That's what makes you high in mm. the hemp plant or marijuana right. or whatever you want to call it. Um, that's what is sort of the psychotic um, part. And there is very, 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 very trace amounts um, left in CBD. So without going into like the scientific compound I've been trying to think of um, analogies to sort of compare it to and the best thing I can come up with is everybody knows what an Arnold Palmer is um, sort of a mix of iced tea and lemonade so you can sort of buy it in the store um, so if you think about like the hemp plant as an Arnold Palmer which is kind of strange um, and you just decided one day I just want to have the iced tea you can extract the lemonade from it and just have iced tea. So the iced tea would be the CBD. So there's you're taking the THC sort of out of it mm -hmm. and just yeah. having that. However, in the extraction process, for right now at least, there's no 100% guarantee that every single right. little drop of that lemonade is gonna be out. So mm -hmm. there is you know trace, 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 trace amounts, but nothing yeah. that's gonna make you high. Right. Um, and also I think we sort of need to do a little bit of a disclaimer. Right, like 
real talk, we are not scientists, right? I work in healthcare, I love science, but I am not a scientist. I'm certainly not um, an expert in CBD, nor is Sarah, even though she is like a huge advocate for it, Mm -hmm. um, as am I. But, you know, we are not claiming medical miracles we are not diagnosing treating any of those things this is the sort of like cover your tail aspect of our real talk but um you know that being said if you want to like let your science free flag fly like i do you can totally google some amazing amazing talks about cbd and it gives you like all that science that you need um and that you want So one of my favorite people to listen to is Dr. Joshua Plant. He is incredibly gifted in terms of his speaking ability and brilliant. I think a lot of times when people are so smart, it's hard to relate to them, but he is truly, truly brilliant and really gives a great um, message every time he's talking about something. I find him to be highly entertaining to listen to and... um, his talks are usually pretty short and and get to the point. And so Dr. Joshua Plant, brilliant. My recommendation to to Google if you want some of the like down and dirty science. Yeah. Um, so for me, the first question I usually get is, does it make you high? And the second question I usually get is, will it show up in a drug test? My question is, who other than me are you hanging out with? Because clearly I'm asking you neither of those questions. Um, I'm from New Haven. Yeah, I don't even I don't even understand. But okay, so I guess we will address that. Oh my gosh. If you're just joining <laughs> us, this is Real Talk with Marlon Sarah. Mm-hmm. And as I said in our introduction, it basically is Real Talk with Sarah Q Marla Sweating because like she basically just says things that make me feel like I'm getting nervous and I want to sweat because you never know what's going to come out of her mouth. I'm trying really hard. Anyway, the question was, will you test positive on a drug test using CBD? Mm -hmm. So the answer is you probably should not, right? Um, Because of those very, very trace amounts of THC. And it should be less than 0.3% of THC. So this is where being an educated consumer like really comes into play, right? Like we kind of were joking about the question, but this is like the real seriousness of knowing what you're putting into your body. Um, so that's 0.3% of THC that your CBD should comp- uh, should contain or less. Um, and you're really wanting to make sure that it's being tested for quality, purity, consistency. So like each batch is being done the same exact way so that you know what's being delivered to the body. A, that allows you to not have any of those um, psychotropic effects because you know you're having that small trace amount of THC and also it allows you to really verify the dose if you will that you're giving to yourself every day so you know um, any company can basically just say this is how much is in our one dropper full of CBD oil but has that been tested has that been verified so this is where you really need to do your research and make sure that you're um, being educated and I would say if you're really really super concerned maybe just stay away from CBD now. for you know un- until your test is complete even though you should be fine but yeah I guess yeah so you should be all right yeah so if I went to the mall t- right now and I went up to a stand in this CBD they were trying to sell me CBD yeah. like what 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 am I looking for like what am I looking for on the bottle mm. how should what sh- how should I know what's good and what's not right so I talked about the consistency the purity and the um quality right and so you want to make sure that that's not just by the company that's putting it out because they can literally put whatever they want. It's not regulated by food and drugs. So um, they can put whatever they want on their label. You want it to be third-party tested. So, So they have paid someone else to say, please test our product and does it do... And it does it do what we say it does? And does it consist of what we say it consists of? That is really what you're looking for pretty much with anything that you're putting into your body. You want it to be third party tested. You're also looking for, is it being organically and sustainably harvested? Like why would you want to put something in your body that where the plant itself is being treated with herbicides and pesticides? Mm. All that's going to do is just like increase your toxicity and you're basically just taking our toxic environment and expediting its way into your body. So making sure it's organically farmed and sustainably farmed. And actually Colorado is one of the places that's known to have the um, most sustainably small 
sustainably grown hemp farms, mm -hmm. and they usually tend to do them in small batches. So that's a place that you might want to look for when you're looking for actual like physical destination locations. Mm -hmm. um, and the most important thing, if you take nothing else away from this whole thing, is is it food grade quality? Oh, yeah. So even though right now the FDA does not endorse ingesting CBD, it's questionable for me. I totally endorse it. But anyway. Um, Again, it, we're not doctors. Right, not doctors. But if you're taking <laughs> well, something that's food grade, <laughs> true I am, but if you're taking something that's food grade, and I say the same thing about essential oils, mm -hmm. if it is food grade quality, you can put it into your body. And so, um, you know, just looking down the pike, when we do get the green light from the FDA, and it becomes widely accepted to be ingesting CBD, why wouldn't you want to have a product on hand that you can already just go to and say, okay, instead of putting it on the you know crease of my wrist, I'm going to put it sublingually or underneath my tongue. And um, you know, I actually have a lot of patients, especially um, you know, I work for a home health and hospice organization, and I have a lot of patients who use CBD, um, some of them who are in their 80s and 90s who tell me like this, like, because they think they're using <laughs> drugs. But, you know, they um, use CBD, and a lot of them do take it sub sublingually. And um, they have amazing, amazing, amazing results. So I would say if you take nothing else away, mm -hmm. look for food-grade quality. Yeah. Cool. For sure. So what can CBD be used for? So it can be used for a lot of things. Um, pain, anxiety, sleeping... Um, epilepsy, MS, um, there's a lot of things that mm. it can be used for. The list is sort of endless. Yeah. Um, CBD is something that goes to where it's needed. Um, again, there's a huge scientific explanation for it with a lot of words I can't say. Yeah, Sarah so, edited that out. Yeah. She was like, too, mm. sci too science -y. Well, if I can't say the words, I can't talk about it. Um, so we won't bore you with those big giant words. Just tell you that like, <laughs> If you have a headache and you put it on your arm, it's going to go to your head and help your head. So it's yeah. pretty great. And so, you know, I think one of the reasons why, without like being too sciencey, um, one of the reasons why it's so effective is because we have these receptors in our body that are um, very congruent with CBD. And so when you take it in, when it gets into your bloodstream, it finds the receptors, they make a little happy marriage, and your body is able to um, really use the chemical compound very effectively and very efficiently. So the body is very, very smart, and so it can just determine where it's most needed. Yeah, so it's pretty incredible, which is why also I think, you know, people are usually skeptical of something that can be used so wide spectrum, mm -hmm. but um, if you were to take a minute and look at some of the mechanisms and some of the science behind why, it would make total sense. So, mm -hmm. yeah. What she said. Um, <laughs> Okay, so that's CBD. So on to the next topic, which is Marla's Yay! favorite thing in the world. Oh, it makes me so happy. It's coming. It's Black Friday. The final countdown is <laughs> So before I turn it over to Marla, for me, again, if you know me, you probably know that I am not a morning person. Um, Shocker. She once actually ended our friendship for 37 minutes because... I asked her to not hit snooze for the seventh time in the morning. Well, when you're waking up at 5 a.m., you have to hit snooze. Do you know how annoying that is? Beep, beep, beep. And then she's like, and can you get in the shower first? Because I'm still going to hit this one more time. Beep. I mean, it's terrible, but continue. We anyway, know you don't get up early. Anyway, so when Black Friday was just on Friday, Sarah was not one of those people who was going to go stand out in the yeah, cold at 3 a.m. to get a TV. Th that's not me. So um, I've mm. been recently doing a lot of my shopping online because my patience is here. And what I do is, I never had I a lot said to be okay, good. Thank you. I it had to be said because I want to like still be friends at 840, yeah. but like, let's be honest, you were never patient. No, so Ever. imagine what I am now. No, no I That's see it, yeah, it's great. So anyway, so I shop online, um, and what I would do is like, if I wanted to buy an air fryer, whatever, I would go on Target and Walmart and Macy's and Kohl's and every store I can think of that would have an air fryer and try to figure <laughs> out which was the cheapest. And then I'd be like, okay, cool, I'm getting it at Target, awesome. 
then like the next day it would be cheaper somewhere else so then i would go buy it the other place yeah because you're using the most inefficient method ever but continue with your story wait so then three weeks later it would be like twenty dollars <laughs> and then i would go buy it in the third place and then return the first two which is exhausting and we also know every time you go to target to make a return you come out spending another hundred plus exactly dollars, so, so it doesn't work i know so anyway last night marlon was telling me what her top five <laughs> tips were and the tip number one blew my mind like like blew my mind so get ready okay. write, th- write this ready? down tip number one mm-hmm. get the black friday app who knew right okay so the black friday app let me lean in because i'm getting super excited okay the black friday app now there's a few so you want to make sure you get the one that's pink and it says bf in white so that's what the little okay, I need to write that down. that's what the little icon looks like and it's incredible the reason why i love this app a, they truly get the leaked flyers early. Like I've been looking at Black Friday ads for like um, at least six or seven weeks now. And, or at least six probably. They don't, some of the other apps, they just leak like what they potentially think the flyer is gonna look like or what they did in the past. That does not help me. I need to know the real time what the sales are gonna be. So yep, they leak the ads right away. The other thing that I love about it is you say you're looking for air fryer you can go in and specifically look item by item and it will pull up all of the stores that have air fryer on sale and you can do a legit point by point comparison mind blown literally blown. all from your phone yeah and oh. even better you can then i forgot to tell you this you can then like <laughs> tag it to say like add to my list yeah so it's great it's pretty incredible so life-changing so I'm a huge planner I love to plan back in the day when Black Friday was truly Black Friday and I was legit out there at three four in the morning I had all of my flyers with lists on the front strategically planning so now because I've had to come into the digital age I've had to like work my planning a little bit differently although for nostalgia on Chris on um not Christmas on Thanksgiving Day I do still like thumb through the flyers even though I've been looking at them forever and I make a physical list but I already have myself all ready to go prior to that. So that's the first one, get the app and be organized and plan. Two is, did you know that in order for something to be listed in the flyer, the store only has to have one of the item? That's crazy to me. Yeah, so they only really have to have one. So you need a backup plan because say you're trying to get the 68 inch TV that's on sale for 198 as a doorbuster at Best Buy this year, they don't necessarily have to have 10 of them. They could have one or two in the store. So you need to have your second best option if you're looking for a new 68 inch TV to be able to host your say, I don't know, Super Bowl party or Miss America party, Mm -hmm. even more important. So you need to have a backup plan. So that's where the other, the app with the comparison also is really helpful because you have plan A and plan B. Also in terms of um, plan A and plan B, you want to, um, oh, I lost my, my train of thought, huh? Pla- I don't need your paper, thank you. Plan A, <laughs> so you wanna have your plan A and plan B. <laughs> so now on to number three. So I said the digital age. It is the best thing to be actively live shopping and also online shopping. So if you get to the aisle and it's sold out but they happen to still have one in Texas, you can just still get it. This is what made Black Friday like come full circle for me because it's, bombarding myself with shopping it's incredible like i'm in the store getting the rush tell you how excited she is right now sitting next to me like i don't i can't even i'm in the store getting the rush of all the people and all like the good energy and the frenzy but yet i can actually just be on my phone as well i also preload my cart this is a it's novice mistake to not preload your cart preload your cart so that if it's not in the store sometimes Online, it's still slightly more expensive, but better than not getting the item at all. So that, in that same vein, divide and conquer. Bring with you a trusted, very small team. Now, I have my best friend, Dennis. Small as in small Wait, number small as in number and small. size. So I have my best friend, Dennis, who gets dragged every single year. He says he hates it, but it's our bonding thing, and he does it probably just because he loves me. And... 
he knows like the whole year he has to hear about this. So he actually sent me a funny meme where it's a person running on a treadmill with a shopping cart and I'm still laughing like weeks <laughs> later. So that's incredible. Also, small in size. My sister, Kara, if you know her, she's very, very petite. I got her on my team right away because she can weave in and like to the nooks and crannies between people and get things. We got multiple <laughs> TVs this way because she is really good at bobbing and weaving through people and also sneaky. So <laughs> divide and conquer, have your plan. And also no, like Target, they're not having their TVs in the back. This is like obviously common sense, but they're all over the place. They might be in the men's underwear section. Mm -hmm. So you need to go in with eyes open and aware. So, so first one is get the app. Second tip is, oh my God, have get the app, plan. have a backup plan. The third one is simultaneously shop live and online and also have your team. The fourth one, this is so, so important, especially because my sister and I do marathon Black Friday shopping where we pretty much are out like until the morning when we pick up my mom and then go to the mall. We usually take like about a 45 minute nap. Um, so you need snacks and they need to be healthy snacks. You can't be bogging yourself down with junk or like coffee you need to be having something natural to get yourself going. You don't want to miss out on a sale because you were sluggish. If there's only two items in the store, you can't be lollygagging your way down there. You have to be speedy and go. And this is why no one else wants to be on my team because I am like a drill sergeant. So you want to make sure that you have healthy snacks with you and ones that are like pre-portioned out. So you can just pop them in your mouth while you're maybe waiting in line or when you're driving from store to store and also bring them for your team because you don't want to have a sluggish team. So that's tip number four. Now tip number five. This is totally me. Don't be a grumpy elf. If you are grumpy, Oh my God, Ashley, I love you. <laughs> if you are grumpy, you need to stay home because there are mm. people who truly, truly, truly fill their cup on Black Friday. Mm. I am one of these people. You need to expect it is going to be crowded. It is going to be chaos. There are going to be times when you get bumped or when someone gets there ahead of you because they had their healthy snack and maybe their Bia. So they oh. got there before you and they grabbed the last, I don't know, like Hatchimal off the... I don't even know if that's a hot toy. They're actually, the one that grows is a very hot toy this year, but they grab the last Hatchimal right in front of you. And there's gonna be the whole emotions of, <laughs> okay. The, my own grumpy elf just made his own appearance. So anyway, you need to just embrace it all. And if you're grumpy, you need to stay home. Mm. And just do your online shopping and that's fine. But it is not a place to be ruining someone's Christmas and Black Friday spirit. So if you are a grumpy elf, Stay in your bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you those are my Black Friday tips. I hope they are helpful. And I mean, <laughs> thanks for like indulging me because I'm so excited. Like, you have no <laughs> idea. I'm so excited. If you have items that you're looking for, please feel free to message me. I can always, you know. Yeah, tag us in your Black Friday. Yeah, tag us in your Black Friday. Oh my God, that one's like, that's living for mm -hmm. me. I love it. Mm -hmm. It is truly my Mecca holiday. I have. It's like right there with my birthday in, in terms of holidays that I've created. So, yeah. We hope that you've learned something. Yeah. This is fun. We hope you've learned something about the CBD mm -hmm. and also about Black Friday. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, let's just say I hope that if you have been a Black Friday naysayer, I hope I've lit a little glimmer of spark inside of you Ooh. to make you excited about Black Friday and the holidays because they are right around the corner and I cannot <laughs> wait. All right. Mark. Okay. All right. Real so, um, yeah, uh, like our video, share it, um, yeah. follow us on YouTube, Real Talk with Sarah and Marla, um, and subscribe to our page, yeah. and we'll upload those videos here, and send us any questions. Yeah, and if you have any topics you would like to hear about, please feel free. Yeah. Message us. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Christmas.